before here? And how did you come here? Before here, I was a, a rub in, in Hurleyville. Uh, and uh, the, the rub here at that time, when I was in Hurleyville, was a, a bocher, a choshim retalmus from Tervedas, a mayor Detmov. Very choshim retalmus. He was here, and he nebach, he nebach uh, had a very serious illness. Bechatz Yomov, and he left, it, he left this world at a very early age, and uh, they, I knew him, and they wanted to have a, uh, a hespid, they wanted to make a memorial, they call a memorial service for him after he passed away. So I came here to, to be masked with him, to speak, and they said they need a rabbi desperately, and he said this is a bigger community than where you are, and... Uh, I was having problems with living quarters there. I, uh, where my mishpok and I were living at the time, so the owner needed that apartment desperately. Her, uh, her, her daughter was tragically killed in an accident, the Goite, and uh, so she needed a place for the orphans, for her grand, uh, orphan grandchildren. She wanted that apartment desperately, and she was trying to get us to move in the worst way, and they couldn't find really. Uh, so some are both worked at the same time, so that's when I, that's how I became the rug here. When, when I, the, uh, they made, in America, everything was a ceremony. Whoever, uh, whoever invented the word ceremony uh, is, uh, my goodness gracious, he took, he took the whole, Reach and Ruach, the whole flavor and depth of Torah and Mitzvahs, he took and he rang it out, squeezed it out with the word ceremony. It was ceremony, everything, everything was a ceremony. So, everything they call ceremonies. So, uh, this is how they live, they live with ceremonies. So, uh, uh, they, so they had an inaugural ceremony. So, at the ceremony, uh, at the inaugural, they had here the uh, uh, it was a very f famous judge, a Supreme Court Justice, Lawrence Kahn. He was one of the speakers at the, at the inaugural ceremony. There was uh, a year, Sheriff Wasser, Joseph Wasser, also was present, and also I spoke. And uh, I, it was not long after, I, well, let's see, 70, well, well, a couple number of years, after the tragic assassination of Kennedy. So I drew a parallel very dramatically uh, between my coming here and taking over Rabbonus as the tragedy of the tear of the young Rob and between the tragic assassination of Kennedy. So I mentioned that when Lyndon Johnson, just to give you an idea of what I said, uh, the moving words and, and, and what the response was of the president of the, of, of the assembly. So, uh, uh, so I, I said that after Johnson assumed the presidency, when he spoke, he said that, uh, he said, all that I have, I would have given gladly not to be standing here today, not that Kennedy should still be alive. So I said, I also say, all that I have, I would have given gladly that your rabbi should not have been struck in the, in the midst of his life. So, and then I went on to something humorous, and I said, we're very honored to have the Supreme Court Justice here, and to have the, the Sheriff here on the dais. And I said, but, and thank God, the order of the speakers is very important, and it works out very well. I said, but it could have been a disaster. I said, because uh, had I been the first speaker, followed by the Zan the judge, and then the Sheriff, so I said, I would have come before the judge, and the Sheriff would have been after us. <laughs> I said, this way it works out well. I said, because first, uh, the honor, the, the judge spoke, first the, the sheriff spoke, and then the judge spoke, then I spoke. So I said, the judge came before me, and both of us were after the sheriff. So it brought out an applause. And when I finished speaking, I spoke seven minutes. There was an applause, uh, it, a continuous applause, Oh, for maybe a minute and a half, it was continuing, and uh, then I sat down, and uh, it continued. I felt I had to get up to acknowledge it, and I, I stood up, 
I stood for about 30, 40 seconds, and I sat down again to continue. This re continued for about three, four minutes. I never witnessed something this in my life uh, to, that a, a should call that kind of response in the dress. It, it continued for, uh, oh, maybe four or five minutes to your pause. And it was a pact, there was maybe 300 people in. The next day I met the president. So I said to Mark, I said, I don't know what it was in my remarks that I, that should bring out that kind of response. So his reply was, he said, well, Rabbi, you know, you're not really dynamic. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, Rabbi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, you're coming, he coming, and and when you arrived, just as our oil was leaving, and it made it made us look better than we deserved to look. Such a hot veil of streaming in. You know, they think in a show, you know, uh, they finish the last cottage, they turn off the lights, and they go home. And that's it. That's the end. It's, a shul is not, uh, it doesn't have to do anything more than say Kaddish and goodbye. But they saw Talmud HaChomim with Chosh Rosh Yeshivas coming in here and, and uh, the Rosh Yeshivas song is unsign. The more mission of it brings that uh, the dissension and the smite of others and the generations went down. So what was lost forever, Kedushi, all kind of, all sorts of great milis that the Kaddish all possessed, they all, they all vanished with the petir, with the loss of these great individuals. So then the, the mission brings that anovit, humility, was also vanished. So the Gemara says, Omar Abiyasi, Reis says, No, don't, don't mention anovit, that humility vanished. Why? The cannot, because I'm here. What kind of humility is that? <laughs> I'm here. I'm, that, that's somebody's boasting that he that he's uh, humble. But the pshat is asik. That day, the Yosi ascended to the position of Rosh Hashiva. He became Rosh Hashiva. So he looked around <coughs> and he said, "Look, such tremendous tamid chachamim." They overshadow me, head and shoulders. They're, all, they're much higher and greater than I am. How in the world did they choose me as Rosh Hashiva? That, that tells me, tells us that there is humility. All of these great Tamiyachom are big, very humble. They felt that they can assume the position. There's such humility here in Zichron Meir. Amongst all the other great Milas, this is what rubs off on all the time the Danov of the great Rosh Hashivas of, uh, of your Rebbe's long zooms and Rebbe Zriel, Hagoin, Rebbe Zriel, Hagoin, Rebbe Shimon, two big Goinim, Goinim in Midas and Goinim in Teiri. They both, you have, you're very fortunate to be exposed to have such. This, <coughs> this is, you have here the Messiah from Sinai. That's what you have here. You have here the Messiah from Moshe, the Anivas of Moshe, Rabbein Ish, Moshe Onav. You have here the Anivas, that's what you have here. They brought you here. I, I'm a small town rabbi. What, bro, what can I offer you? To, uh, the, the, but, but the idea that they brought you here to listen to me, you can learn from this a lot. They are not with humility. Thank you, Robert. Oh, yeah. uh, you get a picture with the rope. Everybody wants to have a picture with the rope. Oh, shoot. Can we help you with the guy? Sure, you mean it. Okay. Okay.